morning. Good morning. It is like 6.33. Um, and December we're... Vacation day. Yeah, it's some vacation day. It's a sad day. We're a little early because we're kind of ready to go. And yeah, breakfast uh, is until 7. I don't know. They act like everyone is like, make sure you get up really early. And I'm yeah. like, this is, is like, kind of normal for us. Yeah. I am just an early... Per- like, I was like, oh, wait, before my alarm. Like, when do I get to get up? Get ready. <laughs> But we have Canaveral outside of um, mm-hmm. on our magic porthole, so we can see that we are here now, so we know. Um, it was hard to tell because the ship was barely moving because our seas were so calm coming back from Castaway. Compared to the earlier. So I had been so accustomed to the, you know, violent rocking, but, like, <laughs> the mild rocking, I was like, are we moving? I can't tell. <laughs> so. Yeah. Just a travel day and then home. You yeah. See her. Can't wait to see Weasel. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um... But yeah, so I guess it's goodbye to stateroom 80501. Okay, so I had to breakfast, and it is really sad, like walking around the ship and being like, oh, we're not going to be here anymore. Everyone's it does like, make me sad. And everyone looks really like. And you can tell everyone else is sad too. Yeah. It is kind of a bummer. All the doors being blank is like kind of sad. Like, yeah. No magnets. It's like, aww. But it's going to be full of a new bunch of people. Yeah. You're going to have a great time. So. Uh, there's definitely some things that we didn't get to do, but yeah. it's a reason to come back. So. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's sad. Not that good. Yeah. It's definitely, you can, you can sense the air in the room is sad. And then you've got like a bunch of like cranky kids that didn't want to get up this morning. <laughs> like, are being told like, no, we're going home. And they're like, you know, I'm sure all bummed. But I, I was telling Chris, I think it's really cool that like we bookended the cruise with Animator's Palette because we came here on embarkation day to have lunch. And then we're, it just happened to be the restaurant that we ate at last, so we are having breakfast here. So I think that's kind of cool. But we still ate at Royal Court the most because we did three dinners there, yeah, that, a lunch and two breakfasts. That was, uh... That was the dining room that was open. That was, for yeah, that was the dining room that was open for like breakfast and lunch. So we ate there the most. Um, but yeah, it's an era of sadness. So I think it's, it's just sad. I can't remember what it's called. Eggs for the road. I think it's what it's called. So I got two fried eggs, sausage. Oh, I got bacon. I didn't ask for that. And then hash browns. Uh, I also got that, but I also got uh, Belgian waffle because. That's not enough. <laughs> Alright, bye table 28. <laughs> you were fun while it lasted. Orlando Airport and of course we had to go into the Disney store because we didn't have enough of Disney shopping and souvenirs while we were on our cruise or in Disney Springs. Oh, Marie, that's a really large keychain. Oh my gosh, I love these. Those are so cute. <laughs> oh, I have the hat, the ear ones down there at the bottom. You could, um, yeah, collect all three. We don't have it, L3. No one cares about the brothers. <laughs> this is Marie's the cutest. Oh, this one. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, I wish that it wasn't gray, because it's kind of weird, but I would love to have a Mickey Squash Mountain. <laughs> what are these things? Oh, my gosh, the Baymax one. Cuddly plush? <laughs> Cuddly's plush? 
Grogu. And they have a Grogu to also with the Baymax. I think that's so cute. It's too much. <laughs> this is like a hat that Kai would like. My brother-in-law. I love this one here. But it is missing Pluto. I wish I had Pluto. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that so much. I like this too. That's so cute. I like that. I, I, I actually like this sweatshirt better because I like that color better. But you, this is more your color. I just like the red better. Oh, that's a fun one. A lot of parks in it. Oh, it's nice because it's like kind of subtle. Sort of. <laughs> I guess subtle. They have a nice Star Wars selection. Um, I did like these lounge guys. I really like this one. It's so cute. Still pleased with my purchase though. No regrets. <laughs> I like this one. But you don't really wear that style of shirt. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Very weird statue <laughs> art thing. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it's kind of creepy. All right, so of course we have to go in the Universal store as well and check out the Harry Potter stuff. Whilst we are here, always fun. Oh, I like the little snow globe one. I don't think I've seen that one before. This is just saying I love how the universe is where it's all Harry Potter, which is basically, that's why we go. Until the Nintendo stuff is, is there. I love this Stein, Chris. It's always been one of my favorites. Now all the stuff for all the houses. Their ornament selection has improved since the last time that we were at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. We've got a lot of options here. I love this little can of butterbeer. It's so cute. This sporting hat. We've got like a dream, three room sticks and hog's head here. Super cute. Love all that. Oh, I like the letter. Letter to Hogwarts. <laughs> Show that. Oh, I love the badger. That is so cute. Chris, of course, is a Hufflepuff. Ah. I am a Ravenclaw. I love that they have the little like mascots for each thousand. It's so cute. <laughs> They have a nice selection of keychains here. I love the Thai keychains. I think those are adorable <laughs> for each of the houses. Okay, so we got to the airport like really fast. <laughs> We've been to the airport now for like an hour and a half probably since we got here. Our flight is not until 3.55, so it's 11 o'clock now. Our flight's not until 3.55. We had so many hours that it wouldn't even let us check our bags. So we had to like go through a special line. We were able to put our bags in like a holding area and I'd get them checked, but they're like in a holding area until they're able to like actually get processed, I guess, whatever. Um, I just had no idea what to expect. And so there was a 12.30 flight that we definitely could have made, like with no trouble at all. But I was really worried about how long it would take to get off the ship. I wasn't sure about getting through customs, like how long we had to wait for a bus, but if we had to wait for a while. And it was like, we just literally got done with breakfast, walked off the ship, went through customs, like got our bags, went through customs. I mean, we, it was what, 30 minutes, but we got off the ship and onto the bus in like 30 minutes, I think total. And the bus ride was so short. It was only like 45 minutes because we, were, we weren't going to the parks and we were going to the airport. So it was just like, I didn't know what to expect. And apparently I was very off on my expectations. Um, so we're here at McCoy's, which is like a restaurant in the Hyatt um, Hotel that's in the MCO airport. And we're just gonna get, get some drinks and see if we get hungry here in a little bit. Maybe get something to eat before we head through security into the terminal. Um, just kind of trying to break up our wait times. We did a little shopping. The nice thing about MCO is there is a lot of like shopping, a lot of restaurants, things like that. So it's not so just sitting around waiting and doing nothing. But um, yeah, so just killing some time before we can get home. Okay, so we are here killing time at McCoy's. Um, we are not hungry yet, um, but we're thinking we might be after a couple drinks. <laughs> so that? we are get, we got the gin and tonic. Sorry, Chris. We got the gin and tonic, and you got a margarita. There is it good? Spicy. Oh, I love spicy margaritas. This is my favorite kind. Um, this is the cucumber. So it's like it's like Hendrickson and Fever Tree, and this is the cucumber. 
there's also one called Mediterranean that I think I may try the next round just to give that a try. No one can seem to tell me what they, what that one is. The, the waitress and the bartender both don't know. We might end up getting a couple of shareables here. Um, they have a few different options. They have a lot of different gluten-free options, which is really nice. Um, but we'll just kind of see if we get hungry after a bit. Okay, so we've been sitting here for a little while, and we're on our, I think, second round of drinks, and we did finally get hungry, so we got some appetizers. We have some Brussels sprouts up here, Chris gets a blueberry and pretzel, and we have the loaded fries. Delicious. What's your drink? The rum something or other? Rum punch. Rum punch. Certainly. I've been taking a gin and tonics. Anything to say about our afternoon in NCO? This is a nice place. It feels very secluded. It's mm -hmm. quiet here. We're not surrounded by all the craziness that's happening downstairs, <laughs> which is nice. The lines are still crazy, by the way. Yeah. Well, we'll have to get to security at some point. to be home. Uh, miss, it's nice miss, to feel the chill in the already. air. It's <laughs> already, but I'm glad to be here. Yeah. We didn't film anything on the flight home because it was very turbulent and cloudy and icky. It's not pleasant. So, just glad to be on the ground again. Solid ground. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So uh, we realized we didn't close the vlog last night. I um, guess that's what happens when you do like nine hours of travel. Yeah. Um, you just come home and you're like, food, sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I went and got weaseled from my parents' house and then just kind of like, we just sort of vegged the, for a little bit and then went to bed. So yeah. definitely was, weren't uh, very productive. We were, we were tired from just traveling. Yeah. Um, so we just... Been getting settled in all day, uh, unpacking. Doing laundry, laundry. and stuff like that. Putting, yeah. all, putting everything away. Um, but yeah, so thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for coming along. Um, yeah. We enjoyed sharing it with uh, you as much as we enjoyed it mm -hmm. ourselves. Um, remember, if you liked watching our videos, you can always like like them. Or if you want to follow for some more, you can always subscribe. And then make sure you hit that bell icon <laughs> for notifications when we post new videos. Anything else to say? I don't think so. Well, we can say see you real soon. See you real soon.